Hi, I'm Kimberly Trion, and I'm going to demonstrate drawing up insulin. I'm going to start by verifying my physician's orders, verify the six rights of med administration, that I have the right patient, drug, dose, route, time, and documentation. I'm going to pull up my patient's EHR, verify the order in there, verify my pulled meds against my order. I'm going to gather my supplies, enter my patient's room, close the door curtain for privacy, perform hand hygiene. Hi, sir. I'm Kim. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you verify your full name and date of birth? Verify with two patient identifiers. Okay, Mr. Smith, do you have any allergies to medications, food, or environmental? Verify no allergies. All right, Mr. Smith, today your doctor has ordered some insulin, so we're going to discuss that, okay? Do our hand hygiene and our gloves. All right, Mr. Smith, so today your doctor has ordered some regular insulin and an intermediate acting insulin. Um, insulin is just a hormone that we use to help regulate blood glucose levels in diabetic patients, and it just helps your body move um, the, the glucose from your blood into the cells so they can use it for energy. Um, some of the side effects of insulin are going to be injection site pain, weight gain, a rash, um, some of the more concerning side effects would be headache, dizziness, blurred vision, palpitations. I need you to let me know right away, okay? Um, some people do complain of a little bit of burning or stinging when we administer this, so just be aware. Do you have any questions? Okay, so first we're going to start by verifying your blood glucose level. Uh, we get 110, so we'll go ahead and give that insulin. Um, and then I'm going to bring you a breakfast tray within the next 30 minutes, okay, after we administer. I'm going to start by pulling up your order in the, um, in the MAR. I'm going to verify, again, our medications against our MAR. I'm going to have a fellow nurse come in and verify our drug calculations. So today your doctor has ordered four units of regular insulin and eight units of NPH. So that's going to give us 12 units total volume. I'll have my, my nurse uh, verify those numbers. We're going to start by rolling um, the vials in between our hands, and this just helps resuspend anything as well as it warms it back up um, to room temperature before we administer it. We also want to make sure that our regular insulin is nice and clear. NPH is a suspension, so that's cloudy by nature. Um, next, we're going to... Clean off the tops of each vial. All right, we have our one ml insulin syringe. We are going to withdraw eight units of air and carefully uncap. We're going to inject those eight units into our NPH, making sure not to touch the fluid in there. The medication in there and um, not withdraw anything at this time. Then we're going to pull up our four units of air and we are going to inject that into our regular insulin and then we will withdraw four units of regular insulin. All right, we're going to tap any air bubbles out. Okay. We're going to verify four units of regular insulin in our MAR, verify that in our syringe, verify that we pulled it from the regular insulin bottle. Uh, we're going to also verify our, our drug calculation. So our 12 uh, units should be total volume um, and verify all of that in the MAR again. Next, we will withdraw our NPH, making sure not to push any of the regular insulin back into that vial. And we're gonna be extra cautious not to overdraw this one. Uh, if we do, we will start back over from the beginning. Uh, verify that we have 12 units in there. Verify that in our MAR again. There's our 12 units. Um, if we have prepared this away from our patient, then we will recap it very carefully we will label our syringe with our medications and our dose, and we will go administer it to our patient.